Hope you've had a blessed day today. Today I'd like to talk about 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. This verse hits us with two different kind of truths. One that it's very hard for people to hear, and the other is uh, brings hope to those that can understand it and actually want to hear it. The first truth, the hard truth, is that when we continue to live a life in sin, whatever they may look like, we are being deceived by the devil's influence in our lives. The second hopeful truth and happiness truth is that the Son of God came to destroy all the evil in the world and give us back a true life and purpose with God. This, and I, it is two simple truths, but it's really just one big truth rolled up into a ball because if we choose to live in sin, we're denied God's rewards and blessings. When we choose to live by God's word, we're blessed with his rewards and blessings. So this, is a, this verse right here is a constant reminder that we have to choose which side of life we want to be on. We have to be intentional with our actions. We have to say, okay, if I want to continue living life the way I want to live it, not the way God wants me to live it, then I will continue to live in sin. And then I'll be on the wrong side of life. But if I, can, if I choose to live in God's word, then I will be on the right side of life. Because when God comes and removes all the devil's work, we will be free. Free to accept all his rewards and blessings. God's purpose for us is that Jesus had come in likeness of uh, sinful flesh and he suffered. He suffered greatly and he died. He died so that sin, sickness, destruction, death, and everything that falls under the heading of evil would be forever destroyed in our lives in order that Christ lives all in all. God bless you all.